So this time I am fixing a DC regulated power supply. It's a ZR or Zebra ZR1500E rated at 13.8 volts DC at 15 amperes. This is a voltage and current regulated linear type of power supply. So the usual fault for this type of power supply when you are using it for a long time, suddenly the power supply doesn't output voltage anymore. So something is wrong with the circuit. Another common fault of this type of power supply is the, power, the current regulation becomes intermittent. So what happens when the current regulation is intermittent is when you are using the power supply with a load of high wattage like 30 to 50 watts, suddenly the voltage on the voltage panel drops and the transceiver turns off when you press the PTT when it's set to high power. So this power supply has two faults. First, it doesn't output voltage. And second, when the voltage regulation speaks, the current regulation is intermittent or the power transistor needs replacement. So what I did to fix this is, as we can see on the camera, we have a diode. What I did was to replace the original rectifier diode in bridge configuration with two diodes with the same rating, almost the same rating, not exact but it will work, and configure it in bridge configuration before feeding in the output to the current and voltage regulation circuit so that the power supply will work. So it's time now to test the power supply if it will provide the expected current and voltage regulation. So what I did was to set up the system so that we can measure the current and the voltage. This panel meter is already broken. This is a voltage in the ampere meter, but it doesn't work anymore. So there's a switch for ampere and the other side is voltage. So what we will be using is the multimeter analog set to 50 volts to measure the voltage. So it's now in zero position as the circuit is still turned off. We have a multi-tester digital set at 20 amperes DC to read the ampere or current drop on the circuit when we turn on the transceiver. So you need to put the ammeter in, par in series with the line, power line, and the test lead directly on the output of the transform uh, power supply to read the voltage drop. So let's turn on the circuit and check if the power supply will provide the expected voltage regulation of 13.8 and current regulation at 15 amperes. So we're going to use the ISO 2900 so we just going to test it on low power setting and the high power which is around 50 watts because I adjusted this 2900 so that it will output only 50 watts around 50 watts instead of the original 75 watts so let's turn on the radio but first let's check the connection at the back so we have the output of the radio going to the TX of the SWR meter the antenna side going to the dummy load so this is a 100 watts dummy load although the heat sink is too small but it will 
work on this setup since we are only testing about 50 watts. This is a DIY dummy load which I did before. So let's turn on the power supply. So as we can see, the light turns on. The voltage is now at 13 volts. Current drop is 21 or 0.21. It's showing negative because this is a negative voltage regulator. The transistor is NPM or negative positive negative power transistor. That's why it outputs a negative current readout. So let's set the radio to low power which is 5 watts. So we move the switch to 5 watts position. Let's calibrate. Set to calibrate position and adjust the dial to full direction. Calibrate. Okay. Let's adjust the dial to full deflection. Wait, maybe there's something wrong with the setup. Okay, let's adjust it again to calibrate position. We are on forward power, uh, forward power setting. So 5 watts, calibrate adjust the needle to full deflection so we are in full deflection at low power which is 5 watts so let's read the power output so as we can see we are reading about 4 watts at minus 4.68 current drain when I release the PTT it returns to 0.21 Voltage regulation is fixed, it doesn't move even if I press the PTT. Current drain is 4.68 at 5 watts. So let's check the high power. Or maybe let's check the midpoint, mid power, which is 30 watts. So we need to adjust the switch position to 200 watts and we'll calibrate the SWR. So press the PTT and adjust it to full deflection. So once we are in full deflection, we are leaving the full deflection, change the power when you release the PTT and press the PTT again. So as we can see, we are reading about 25 or 30 watts on the SWR. Let's check the current drain. It's now at minus 9.32. Voltage regulation is still fixed. 9.32 at uh, 30 watts. So let's set it to 50 watts. So high power. So let's recalibrate. Press the PTT and readjust the full deflection. So the needle is in full deflection at 50 watts. We read the power output. So it's about 40 watts on the SWR meter. Current drain is 12.48. When I release the PTT, it returns to the 0.22 or monitor position of the radio. When the radio is turned on, current regulation is still fixed. A uh, voltage regulation is still fixed. When I press the PTT, it's 12.5. So voltage regulation doesn't deflect. Current regulation is properly working. The power supply is properly fixed, although we need to replace the panel meter. So that's it. Thank you for watching and until next time.